Counterfeit Cheese is a multi-billion dollar business and Italian cheesemakers say they are fed up. Parmigiano Reggiano was one of the most renowned cheeses in the entire world. It's earned protected designation of origin status in the 90s. So that means in order for it to be truly Parmesan, it needs to follow a strict list of guidelines for starters. There are only five provinces in northern Italy where this cheese can be made. It only has three ingredients. It undergoes a production process, which takes at least a year, and that's before it can even get the seal of approval. However, the Parmigiano Reggiano Consor Consortium is adding another step, now placing small food safe microchips in each wheel of cheese to try and fight off the counterfeits once and for all. You heard that right. All right, let's bring in Randall Feltz, a seasoned cheesemonger who owns the beautiful rind, joins us live. Randall, first of all, I have to say, you are the first cheesemonger I have ever had the pleasure of interviewing, so thank you so much. First of all, when, when this story was pitched this morning, I immediately said, we, we have to do this. Has counterfeit cheese always been a problem? Absolutely. I think uh, anytime there's a food product that's very popular, uh, you can run across counterfeits. I think recently there's been plenty of stories about that in the wine world, in the cheese world is now uh, getting the exposure to, to these problems that we see coming from a global economy. All right. So before we talk about these new uh, food safe microchips, what was being done before to try to stop counterfeiters? Because obviously it's been a problem and it's been a big problem. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in the case of Parmigiano Reggiano, it's actually a really fascinating cheese. Uh, it's been made for hundreds of years. And over the past uh, 10 and 20 years, they've instituted a lot of interesting uh, protocols. For instance, all of the wheels that we get have a QR code that we're able to scan and find out all sorts of information from where it's made to the day that it was made, uh, who was working that day, all sorts of things like that to be sure it's actually coming from a source that is uh, allowed to actually make the true Parmigiano. And, and do you think that this new type of technology is needed because the problem, I mean, has really gotten that bad? Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're very fortunate. Uh, we're a small shop, so we work very directly with uh, producers. I know the person that makes our Parmigiano Reggiano. But as the cheese gains popularity, you see uh, people getting Parmigiano from all around the world, coming from all sorts of sources, and traceability becomes an issue. Uh, with QR codes, they're wonderful. They are easily copied. So you can get a QR code from, say, one wheel, and just replicate it on another. So, so what is the biggest threat when it comes to these knockoffs? I mean, do you see these knockoffs mm -hmm. coming from a particular region or a particular part? I mean, are, are there Americans trying to do this kind of, where is, is the biggest source of this problem? Sure, sure. I couldn't speak to the true, absolute counterfeit Parmigianos. Uh, I think in my case, we have to do a lot of education about Parmesan, uh, S-A-N versus Parmigiano, A-N-O. Uh, Parmesan can be made well, pretty much anywhere around the world. Most of it comes from either Wisconsin or actually Argentina. All right. So my last question for you, Randall, and you just taught me something right there because there is a difference between Parmesan and uh, Parmigiano. So as a cheesemonger, what makes this Parmigiano so delicious, so special? Uh, well, the easiest way to explain it, unfortunately, uh, is to taste it, which we can't do on TV. But uh, in, in summary, like, True Parmigiano Reggiano has a savory, uh, umami rich flavor that only comes with time and technique. And the people that make this cheese in Italy make it for five or 10 years uh, as an apprentice before being able to make it on their own. So they really, really know what they're doing and do it by hand in small batches, uh, which makes all of the difference. Very, very cool. This is certainly uh, a time when we need to uh, figure out how to make smell -a vision uh, a reality. Mm -hmm. All right, Randall Feltz, thank you so much for giving us some of your time and some of your expertise. We appreciate it. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.